nasty rainy day. Nothing fun about this morning, not weather-wise anyway. And I'm trying to fix my phone mount. How's everybody doing? Good morning, Rob. How are you this morning? Hope you're doing well. Driving to work in this nasty weather, pouring rain. And uh, you know, I talked the other day about how when you walk outside and it's sunny and it's warm, uh, there's instantly a difference in your attitude. Uh, unfortunately, I think when it's raining um, and gloomy out like it is now, it has the tendency to impact your attitude. But again, um, something I want to talk about today is I did a video yesterday about emotional intelligence and I wanted to further offer explanation behind what that means and how it impacts what we do on a daily basis. And in its simplest form, the explanation is this. As humans, we are wired to process and respond emotionally long before our brain can process and respond logically. Um, it's an alarming difference between the two. Um, matter of fact, uh, I'm sure we've all experienced when something happens, we almost instantly have an emotional response to it before we can develop a logical opinion um, or a response to a situation. You know, some people say, you know, my gut reaction is. That's where that terminology comes from. Uh, as humans, our brains process emotional information I believe the, 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 the statistics are something like two million um, pieces of information a second. Um, we're only able to process like 200 logical pieces of information per second. So one of the things that, that a lot of us um, have a tendency to do, unfortunately, is respond emotionally to situations. Um, and then later down the line, we wish that we might have handled that situation different or we regret what we said or what we did in the moment because we responded emotionally. And typically your emotions are gonna be, you know, uh, one of five things, happy, sad, angry, um, you know, uh, I don't know what the, the other five are, but you can you, you get the point that we're gonna respond in a way, um, if we're angry and we allow that to dictate our response, it's typically not gonna be a favorable way that we communicate. Um, and even if we choose to not respond and we feel angry, um, we've allowed it down to, to affect our day. At a minimum, um, if we allow ourselves and our behavior to be dictated by our emotions, um, at a minimum, it can, it, can, it can ruin our day. Somebody can do something on my drive to work and cut me off in traffic. I have an emotional response to it. And if I don't deal with that a set of emotions, um, I'll end up being frustrated or angry for you know the rest of the morning. So the first step in being able to understand or develop your emotional intelligence is to just recognize and identify emotions when they happen and before we take action or allow it to to, to um, affect our, our personal uh, mood is to just identify what those emotions are and take a pause take a second to allow it to be what it is um, a lot of times when I do this, I'll find myself where something happens, my instant emotional reaction is to get angry. I'll pause for a second. I'll reevaluate what just happened. I'll label those emotions by going, that really just upset me. And almost by the time I can finish the thought, I've emotionally come down from being angry. I've realized that the situation either wasn't intentional um, or it's not something that, you know, should cause me to get angry um, and at that moment within a matter of a split second literally I go from being angry to something that could ruin my day to now something that I've let pass I realized that it wasn't a big deal um, I didn't respond I didn't lash out at the source of that anger um, so now I've preserved that relationship <clears throat> whatever that is whether it's our spouse or our kids um, a customer um, someone, you know, uh, randomly that we bump into um, at the mall, you know, that might button line or 
um, inadvertently bump into you or whatever. Um, so the first step is to be able to identify your emotional response and know that that's what it is. This is an emotional response. I feel these range of emotions. Don't hide it or don't, don't, don't ignore it. Just absorb it and identify it for what it is. Listen, I'm upset right now. I'm just gonna let this sink in for a second. And normally after a few seconds, it might be 10 seconds or 30 seconds, you'll, you'll have those feelings subside because oftentimes what we do is when we act on our emotions and we do something or we allow ourselves to, to be triggered by anger, we end up multiplying that anger five, 10, 15, 20 times. Um, and a very small situation develops into a very bad situation. Um, so there's two steps. There's two developments of being able to handle your emotions. First, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta recognize that your emotions um, dictate far more of your behavior than we realize. Until you start acknowledging it, identifying your emotions, and not allowing it to automatically dictate whatever behavior or action you take in that moment. So identifying how you feel emotionally about a situation, <clears throat> processing it, taking a breath, taking a pause, and oftentimes what you'll find is that that emotional response that you have will subside, then you can make a logical decision about what's best, um, and I think you'll find that the majority of the time, um, 30 seconds after, or a minute after this emotional response that you have, what you logically decide to do um, to better handle that situation um, will be a lot different than the initial gut emotional reaction that we have to a situation. Um, so just start by identifying emotions as emotions and know that that emotional response that you have to something is real, but is not typically the best way for us to respond to the situation. Um, it's either going to ruin our mood, um, negatively impact our day, or it's going to make communications um, or relationships with wherever that source of, of emotion is coming from extremely challenging and probably not end well. Um, so that's a little follow-up from the video that I did yesterday, yesterday about emotional intelligence. Um, that's really what it is, the ability to identify your emotions, not respond immediately based on those emotions, and then to process it and make a better decision about how to respond both internally and externally how you communicate to someone when you're in a, a situation where, um, you know, they're, they're, it's an emotional situation. Um, so hopefully that helps. Hope everybody has a great day. Stay dry. It's pouring rain outside. And uh, have a good week. We'll see you.